Just go ahead and put it out and give it to the people. But there's an accompanying documentary because that's the next critique. Oh, you guys did the thing with the Margaret Beach. First of all, that sounds stupid too. Number one, if you watch the film, like you say, I heard the lead character say he had a chip inside of him that he took out. That's in the movie. That's in the movie. All right. So um, the name of the film is called Caracas was about the Margaret Beach. And as he said, we're not telling people what the market of beast is, but understand we're living in a beast. And so um, the name of the film is called Caracas about the market of beast. And as he said, we're not telling people what the market of beast is, but understand we're living in a beast. Because that's the next critique. Oh, you guys did the thing with the market of beast. First of all, that sounds stupid too. Number one, if you watch the film, like you say, I heard the lead character say he had a chip inside of him that he took out. That's in the movie. That's in the movie. And a Negro skipped right over that and made a video and said the opposite. Right. So um, the name of the film is called Caracas about the market of beast. And as he said, we're not telling people what the market of beast is, but understand we're living in a beast system, right? And by the time 20, how many, I don't know if any of you guys watched my Sabbath class, but about two weeks ago, I did a class on the beast system. By 2030, they want you to literally be the technology. That thing in your pocket you call a cell phone, by the year 2030, they want you to be the cell phone. Wow. That's called transhumanism. That's right. You're going to be the cell phone. You're going to be hacked. They're going to log you into the cloud, and you're going to be a cell phone. That's how they're going to control you. Your man Elon Musk, everybody says he's a genius, and everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink, where they want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. And that's the direction that we're heading in right now. We're heading into this beast system, right? But there's an accompanying documentary because that's the next critique. Oh, you guys did the thing with the Margaret Beast. First of all, that sounds stupid too. Number one, if you watch the film, like you say, I heard the lead character say he had a chip inside of him that he took out. That's in the movie. That's in the movie. Everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink. They want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. Because that's the next critique. Oh, you guys did the thing with the mark of the beast. First of all, that sounds stupid too. Number one, if you watch the film, like you say, I heard the lead character say he had a chip inside of him that he took out. That's in the movie. That's in the movie. So um, the name of the film is called Caracas about the Mark of the Beast. And as he said, we're not telling people what the Mark of the Beast is, but understand we're living in a beast system, right? And by the time 20, how many, I don't know if any of you guys watched my Sabbath class, but about two weeks ago, I did a class on the beast system. By 2030, they want you to literally be the technology. That thing in your pocket you call a cell phone, by the year 2030, they want you to be the cell phone. Wow. That's called transhumanism. That's right. You're going to be the cell phone. You're going to be hacked. They're going to log you into the cloud, and you're going to be a cell phone, and that's how they're going to control you. Your man Elon Musk, and everybody says he's a genius, and everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink, where they want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. Everybody loves them damn Teslas. Elon Musk has something called Neuralink. They want to put microchips in you as well. Understand these things. So these things are real. We're not saying that that is literally the mark of the beast itself, but it's definitely a part of the beast system. My apologies for the lengthy intro video. It was important that you heard that with your own ears, the double-minded message that was going out. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and this lesson is going to be entitled, Priest Dan is Bringing Confusion. Very plain title, Priest Dan is Bringing Confusion.
Now, the, the individual you see on the screen that you saw in the intro was Priest Daniela from Lions of Israel, right? He may go by the title Elder or whatever, I'm not sure. All right, but I give respect, Elder Priest Dan from Lions of Israel, okay? So he did, you know, there was a movie that came out recently, and he was involved in it, a movie called Karagma. Now, we all know in GMS what that word Karagma means, what it's going into. It's going into Revelation 13, 16, the mark of the beast, right? So a few brothers, we had a chance to watch it last weekend or whatever during the week. Brothers watched it. It circulated through the brotherhood. And, you know, some criticism came about because of certain things that were left out of the movie. Now, you got a movie called Karagma, and the movie is about, you know, a certain device, as it's been said, the mark of the beast. But you never clearly say what is the mark of the beast. And when we made videos about it and talked about it, he got an attitude and said that y'all heard it in the, in the thing. That's what was the source of his frustration because he was being critiqued on what the movie said and what it didn't say. So instead of him just coming straight forward and saying, hey, this is what it is, you have to watch a movie to figure it out on your own what it is. Then in the vision, the movie took it out. But then he tells you in the other video that they're not telling you that that's what it is. Now, when he made his video to defend it all, he said that y'all heard him. He's, you know, he was getting mad at the fact that brothers, you know, said he didn't come out and say what it was. But even then in his uh, slideshow, this was during the premiere, he said out of his own mouth, and you heard it more than one time, we're not telling you that's literally what it is. So you wind up not really even knowing. He gives you the, you know, he gives you the image Right? Or he gives you the, uh, you know, he fakes you out. That's basically what I'll say. You're getting faked out with this. Now, also, too, concerning this, in the second slide, I'm going to read it to you, what it says, because he said that in this video, there's a documentary that's going to come out that's going to accompany the movie. Okay? So let's read it. It says the documentary. The documentary goes further down the scriptural and secular rabbit hole. Uncovering what is the mark and who is the beast that enforces it. So you get your hopes up. You think you're going to know what it is. He says Israelites from different congregations give their breakdown on the subject matter. Are you understanding that? Israelites from different congregations give their breakdown on the subject matter. So let me get it straight. Didn't you make the movie to tell us what it was, what the mark of the beast is? You said out of your own mouth that you're not literally telling us what it is, but then you got mad and said that you did tell us what it is by the movie, but then you're going to have a documentary to come out afterwards with different news lights from different congregations, with different doctrines, with their breakdown of what the mark is. That doesn't even make sense. So it's like he's telling you, hey, it's, it's showing you this is what it is. But no, again, we're not telling you that's what it is. And then we're going to get these other Israelites that, that with a different doctrine than us to explain what they think that it is. So you still wind up fucking confused after you watch it all. This is why I said this dude is bringing confusion. No disrespect, no hatred, none of that. But my brain is all mixed up. But I know what I clearly see with my own eyes and heard with my own ears. You're not telling people that's what it is. So just to recap, you got a movie called Karagma, which is going into Revelation 13, 16. You see an individual in the movie, right? And he's offered that certain device, but you're not saying that that's what the device is. And then after that, you're going to have people come and tell us what they think that it is. And we're going to all wind up right back where we were, which we know what it is. At GMS, we've always maintained that the mark of the beast is, 100% is the RFID chip. That's it. No door number one, door number two, maybe, hopefully, could be, possibly. It is. And we didn't need to make a movie to say it. We didn't need to make a movie that, to show it to you, but then to hide it, and then come back and give you a, oh, surprise. No, that's not really what it is. Ha, <laughs> we fooled you. No, we didn't need to do that. And this dude is going off, and he can get mad. You other people out there can get mad. But we have to obey the most high rather than men we have to call this stuff out it's really going on too too long so elder priest dan is bringing confusion this is james 1 verse 8 i'm gonna get to these scriptures as quick as i can a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways when you show us on the one hand 
in the movie with the name of what the karagma, you know, in the Greek, what, it, what the word mark means. Then you show us the implant in the movie, but the individual took the implant out, which is also going off. Then you turn around at the end, after the movie, in your slideshow and say, you're not telling people that that's what it is. You're not saying that's literally what it is, but it's part of the beat system. But then you get mad and say, you showed us in the movie what it was, and you got a documentary coming out with different like groups to tell us what they think that it is. You're double-minded. Man, really, man, at that point, you're quadruple-minded. You're double-minded twice. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Very plain. Very simple. You can easily see it. This is James 4 and verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You got to resist the devil, priest Dan. I know you, your part of your thing is you like to heap Israelites under yourself. You want to be cool with every Israelite except GMS, even with us, but we won't tolerate it because we can't get down with all that wishy washiness, man. Brother, elder, whatever you want to be called. Ak, Akia, Aki, like some of these weirdos say. We can't get down with all that wishy washy double mindedness. You got to be a straight shooter. That's just it. You got to resist that urge to befriend every Israelite and tell the straight skinny and those that can't deal with it, they can get out of our face. That's what you have to do. You want to serve the Lord? You want a man of the Lord? You got to resist the devil. Resist that urge to be cool with every Israelite. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hearts, ye sinners. Purify Salakia. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. You can't be being double-minded, Priest Dan. You can't be being quadruple-minded. And believe me, this ain't got nothing to do with the fact that you describe me as a flunky who make videos to get a seal clap from his leaders or pat on the back. <laughs> That's funny. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to, to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. So you know what? Priest Dan, you need to humble yourself. You got caught out there. You told two different things. You saying you tried to defend yourself saying that we was wrong. For saying that you did not say clearly what the mark was, well, you didn't. And you didn't need to make a movie to say it. You can just make a five-minute video and just say, this is what it is. You show a movie, all the many years of waiting, when it finally comes out, poof, it's a whiff. It's a whiff. And then right here on your own documentary, you said it on your own clip. Right here. Israelites from different congregations give their breakdown on this subject matter. Why would you do that? Why would you put a different, if, you want, if you're trying to give me a message, why would you give me a message and show me something in a the movie, then in your slideshow tell me that that's not really what I saw, what I thought I saw, then you're going to have other Israelites from different congregations come and tell us what they think that it is so I can be more damn confused. But why did I watch the movie then? And why did you make it? There's a lot of foul fuckery going on among these Israelites. And you know, I don't expect much to change, but we have to prove all things and show. We have to rebuke when we have to, right? Correct when we have to. And we want our brothers and sisters to understand truly what the mark of the beast is. All prophecy. We have an obligation to the flock to tell them literally what these things are. Amos 3 and 7 says, the Lord, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his service to prophets. We said we were prophets. So why don't we have the secrets? Well, we do. And when you have the secrets, you're supposed to tell the people. You don't supposed to cloud the issue. Make gray area. Run into the corner and say, peekaboo, ha ha, got you. 52 fake out. Hut one, hut two. No, man. You're supposed to tell the people what it is, and you haven't been doing that. You're being double-minded because you don't want to alienate other wicked Israelites. If you felt like you was a man of the Lord and you had the full truth, that means the other Israelites who think who have a different doctrine don't have the truth and you should have been rebuking them and correcting them. But instead, you're making a place for confusion to continue to grow. Right. And quantify and mildew like, a, you know, like a damn plant just growing and growing more confusion. It's, 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 it's wickedness. But the Lord will get to the bottom of it. Matthew 5, 37. 
but let your communication be yeah, yeah, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Well, see, I believe the chip is part of the mark of the beast, but it's not the literal mark. No, 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 no. Well, what is the literal mark then? All these things going to be used together. You're going to be the cell phone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. James 5 and 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yeah be yeah and your nay nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Ain't no maybe. It's part of it. It could be it. No, 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 no. Telling me that the chip is part of the beast system, that's information that I already know. I need to know exactly what the mark is. And you completely tap dance around it and you made excuses, you know, for your for the people that followed you. And then you can do that. Whatever. No ill will. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be, hey, you're gonna be on the side of the Lord, or you're gonna be on the side of the rest of the Israelites with their mouth open. Like like dogs, like puppies hanging out around a kennel waiting for somebody to toss a steak out to fill their mouths up. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This is Colossians 3 and 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. You're supposed to be above that, priest Dan. Y'all made a whole movie called Karagma and didn't tell the people what it was. But you sure turned around and told them what you're not telling them that it is. And on top of that, you're still on it, working on it more. That documentary is going to come out and it's going to damn the shit out of you because you're going to have different Israelites on it with a different interpretation of what the movie was supposed to show. It's confusion. It is confusion. You, and you caught. Lie not one to another. Seems you have put off the old man with his deeds. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. You're not supposed to tell lies to your brothers and sisters who hoping that you will confirm the word. It's embarrassing for you. Zechariah 8, 16. These are the things that you shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. You're supposed to tell the truth, priest Dan. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath. For all these are things that I hate, saith Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that was further critique. You make a movie with the Israelites in the movie, and they saying most high. They're not saying Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They ain't saying Yahweh, they ain't saying Yahweh Shai. See? When the dude departed, when y'all was in the forest, he said, Most High blessed or something like that. No mention of the Savior. Who made all this possible? <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't really have the spirit, because you ain't you ain't give the savior his credit with his name. You're supposed to exalt the name. We wait four years on a movie, you spend the guy to put it together, spent ten or what uh you said he five digits or, or whatever it was, double digit thousands to make the movie, and you ain't even gonna put your house shy, your house name in it, but you believe in them. Ah, uh, I got a problem with it. And I can say it, I'm an Israelite. I wish my life to teach the truth and I can have an opinion. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath for all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. The most high, he hate that when you tell lies, man. When you don't tell, we don't come clean and be honest. You don't. See, this is my this is my estimation. Speaking as a man, he doesn't want to say. I believe he know he knows what it is, but he doesn't want to say it because it's going to alienate so many other Israelites. And this dude is this brother, this elder brother, right? This pretty please with sugar on it. Hey, brother, I love you, love you to death, love to love you, because you, they heaven forbid we we harshly rebuke. But this, you know. This, pride, this, this nice king from the tribe of Benjamin or Judah or Levi or Ephraim, whoever he come from, this shining light in the Israelite world who can't seem to shed the fitted hats and the do-rags, by the way, the one that came down to give us all the truth, the humblest brother walking on the earth, doing, you know, dips for breakfast with his, <laughs> with his weights and all of that, with the broad shoulders and the fine dark-skinned gentleman, whatever. You need all that. He couldn't tell you what the true mark of the beast is. He doesn't want to tell you. He don't want to give you the answer. He wants you to be confused. That's why he did all of that. And maybe 
It was just a mistake. But if it was a mistake, you got to come back and say, you sorry, this is what it is. I believe he knows what it is, but he doesn't want to alienate the rest of the wicked Israelites. He don't want to do it. I tell you, man, you ought to be the most high rather than me, and it's going to be sad. You're going to mess around and get destroyed trying to, you know, trying to save face. 1 Corinthians 14 and 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine. And even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? Unless you give a distinct sound, how shall we know what it's saying? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. Excuse me. Read it again. So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall, for ye shall speak into the air. See that? So you got, you got, it's got to be plain what you're saying. You see, not, you know, it's either yes or no, not maybe so. Let your yeah be yeah, your nay be nay, unless you fall into condemnation. And it didn't come from me. So instead of trying to flip the script and deflect and make it us, it's me. I hate you, right? I don't want to see you prosper. We just tear people down. Instead of doing all that, why don't you just answer the question? Priest Dan, what is the mark of the beast? Plainly and clearly, once and for all, what is the mark of the beast. Don't tell me it's part of this, it's part of that. What is it? What is it? You got a problem? Make a video. Tell us what it is plainly, which really I don't even want to give you that chance. You're running out of chances with the Lord. That's, that's what I see. So like your brothers for the rambling. Lord willing, it was edifying and that you can clearly see. I put it there, exhaustive links to show you what he was saying, what he wasn't saying, all of that. It's right there. Anybody that can't see it, the Lord don't want you to see it. Priest Dan is bringing confusion. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.